Well guys, the, the World Cup addiction is sorted. Um, just the World Cup final recap and the World Cup recap to go and the series ends. But this is not a World Cup video. This is a Rangers video. Which is mostly where I get all my views from. Um, it's, a, it's a Rangers video. It's a Rangers transfer video. We've got two transfer stories. Um, first off, Jake Cooper from Millwall. Um, Rangers had their first bid rejected from Millwall. And also, their manager Neil Harris coming out and saying that um, Jake Cooper is not for sale. For me, he's obviously wanting to. He's obviously holding out for a much higher bid. So Rangers are obviously think they are tabling a second bid worth three million pounds. Um, for the centre back, um, I think he's maybe 23, 24, something like that. He's still a young guy, um, centre back. He is obviously highly rated by Neil, Neil Harris, the, the Millwall manager, um, and he's obviously highly rated by the Millwall fans. Um, if that's the case, and if we do bring him in, then I don't think it bring it just brings competition for a uh, for a uh, Golson and Katic. I think it brings back a. Uh, I think it brings in like it gives Steven Gerrard more formation ideas. More, I think it gives a. Uh, it gives Gerrard an excuse to maybe I wouldn't say an excuse, but a chance to implement a free at the back. With maybe Declan John or Jimmy Murphy as the left wing back, and obviously I think Candice as right wing back. Um, but Steven Gerrard's the manager. I don't know. It's just an idea. It's just a thought. Nothing concrete. Yeah, but I think Jake Cooper would be a good uh, addition. Obviously, as I've said, Neil Harris doesn't want to sell him. He's highly rated by the Millwall support. Uh, but I think he would be a Hi, I think I think he'd be a good sign for the <coughs> for the club. I think he'd give competition for Goldson and Cartage. Well, mostly Cartage because for me Goldson has been he's been solid as a rock since he came in. So I think it's going to be between Cartage and Cooper if we get him in, or maybe we'll even hang it to a back three. So the Jake Cooper story, it's a thumbs up for me. Three million. I'm pretty if what the Millwall fans are saying is true, then he's pretty much worth it. Um. The second main story is Harry Wilson. Obviously, Liverpool have just brought in Jordan Shakiri from Stoke for about thirteen between thirteen and fourteen million, um, which is a good signing for Liverpool. Obviously, because he's an inverted right winger, he's a left footed right winger. Obviously, but it's a mass. It's a it's a matter of uh, whether he gets in the first team squad. It'll be hard to push Mo Salah out of the way. There, there are obviously some reports maybe of him coming to Rangers on loan, obviously with the Rangers and Liverpool deal. Uh, but there's also more of a chance of him going to Stoke as part of the Shakiri deal, which I think that one's more likely. Because I think the Shakiri deal was done before Liverpool made that agreement with Rangers. So, when it, so as far as Harry Wilson goes, I think him going to Stoke is most likely. Uh, we have one more story, and that is Kyle Bartley. Um, by the looks of it, the chances of him coming to Rangers is pretty much done. There's, it's been reported that he is pretty close to signing with West Brom during the Championship. Um, we all know. I think, every, I think every single Rangers fan would have loved to have uh, Kyle Bartley back. But by the looks of it, the interest in him is gone. Um, and it appears that he is very close to signing for um, West Brom. Gutted about it. I thought we were in for a shout for him, but it's no, it's no to be. Um, I'll take Jake Cooper. At least we're going for our centre back. Might not be Kyle Bartley, but at least we're going for Jake Cooper. And just the final story. Just the final quick story. Uh, Jason, the interest in Jason Cummins has officially ended. As we all know, Jason Cummins has signed for Peterborough United on a season-long loan deal. Uh, I don't want to waste my time on that. We'd love to have him at Rangers, but I think with Steven Gerrard, 
you want a higher standard, I just might say thanks for your efforts, Jason. You weren't given a good, you weren't given a good chance, and all the best for your future. Hopefully, we can see you back at Ibrox someday. Um, so Harry Wilson, I don't know. Jake Cooper, thumbs up. Kyle Bartley, gutted, but that's football. And Jason Cummins, gutted, but that's football. Um. What interests him is Steven, obviously Steven Gerrard has said he is, he is looking for a centre back, a centre half. So that obviously confirms that he's not done with the defensive line, the defensive back line. But it also means that Steven Gerrard is not done yet with the transfer window. <laughs>